and welcome to my channel. My name is Kimberly Sherell, but I go by Kim. So let's get into this video, y'all. Yesterday, you guys saw all of my shampoos, my favorite shampoos. If you didn't see that video, make sure you check it out. Booyah, booyah, booyah. Now, with shampoos, we keep it very basic. Didn't have a lot of shampoos to talk about, but today, how many got? Seven. Okay, so we about to hop up in here. I'm just gonna go for the first one. As I am, Long and Lux Grow Yogurt Leave In Conditioner. You know what? Might as well talk about these together. Both of them. Both of the conditioners from As I Am are so bomb. I'm a low porosity girl, so I really like a nice lightweight leave-in conditioner because they melt into my hair a lot better, a lot quicker, and I don't have to worry about any type of buildup, anything like that. Honestly, where am I? I'm like halfway on both of these and I've been trying to get myself away from them Which I have other products to do that. But for these y'all, I just absolutely love these leave-in conditioners They're so lightweight melt right into your hair and you don't have to worry about any type of residue and they smell amazing. So So this next product you guys have seen in almost every video has been in heavy rotation it's the Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling Hair Treatment. I know a lot of you guys um, don't like coconut in your stuff. And I don't like coconut oil, but coconut water, I love in my hair, okay? This is so moisturizing. It, it reminds me of the As I Am and the Kinky Curly Not Today, the, how they have that nice lightweightness to it. But this is a little bit heavier. I like how it feels on my hair. I like that it's like a clear consistency. I don't know, I like it. It's really good and you guys have seen it in my videos, so. So the next product I wanna talk about is, is Steel Bay. I think I talked about it in my last favorites. The Mish Beauty Leave-In Conditioner. Obsessed with this stuff. And they have a pump now. As you guys can see, can you guys see this? How it's like wrinkled up right here, y'all. Trying to get anything out of this bottle was like it wasn't going to happen. I always would take the top off and then kind of dab it. But now that she has a pump, I took the pump off my other one. Because this one is the very first one I had. I've been trying to save it since I only had one. But she sent me another one so that I could have the pump. And I took the pump off of that one and put it on this one. And now we have a pump. So I'm like pumped. Now I'm going to start back putting this in heavy rotation since it has a pump because I really was like struggling, real life struggling with this leave-in conditioner. But it's so moisturizing. If you guys haven't tried Mish Beauty, where have you been? Where have you been? Like, her, her products are so freaking good. Everything, everything that she has come out with has been amazing. She just came out with a shampoo. I got a high feeling that it's going to be in my next favorites because I have... 100% confidence that she is not going to disappoint us. It is thicker in consistency. It's not like the other ones that are very light and liquidy. But this melts into your hair. It melts. Okay, next product is the Diva Curl B Leave-In. Okay, so I know this is an expensive product. <sighs> it's safe. I would honestly say, I've said this in a few other videos, this is for people who are more experienced at wash and goes, okay? And this is for those of you who are going to want volume in your wash and go. But I do not use this leave-in alone. I pair it with another leave-in. I just, I, this isn't a moisturizing leave-in. This is more of a, a plumper, a curl booster, a curl volumizer. It's not for moisture. It's not for definition. It's for volume. It's different. I know I get it. But um, it definitely worked. I actually used this on my hair for this wash and go. Loved it. Do you see how like voluminous it is? It gives you the voluminous look. Y'all know most of my wash and goes don't, don't really look like this. So, But when I use my Believe In, it does. I'm obsessed. So the next product has been like in, in it's, it, it's not in rotation. Because it's the only thing I've been using to detangle my hair during the conditioning stage. And that is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mifura Oil Intensive Hydration Conditioner. If you haven't tried this conditioner, but you love their deep conditioner, and you haven't tried this, I need you to go, sis. You better go get it, try it out. When I say detangling with this feels so good, like this literally has taken the place of my Aussie Moist. 
I still love my Aussie Moist and it is still a lot cheaper than this. But if you are looking for a, a better alternative to your Aussie Moist, I would actually say this is pretty darn good. But like I say, I mean, you don't get a lot. But I don't think you have to use this much. I mean, I am about right here. Jay Moisture, I, I do still love you. We, I, we still ride with you. That's because I don't talk about you all the time on my channel. We still ride for you, okay? So the last product that I want to talk about is actually the newest product. And it is this Be Careful Love Superfoods Super Kale Keratin Avocado Oil Repair Conditioner. It definitely has some good slip to it. I could easily detangle my hair with it. This smells so earthy. It smells like I should be under somebody's waterfall. Like, that's how this smells to me. I don't know why. But you can get this from Sally. It has no, self, no sulfates, no parabens. It's color safe. And it's vegetarian. So, if you guys are looking for a vegetarian conditioner, this is a really good one. It's by Be Care love superfoods it's actually a weird name honestly now that i just like looked at it this is at sally's as well and it is a really great conditioner um it has avocado oil of course kale and keratin you know keratin just really smooths your hair and i think that is what i really like about this conditioner is that when i put it on i just feel like my hair is very easy to manage and i love it I, I love this and it's it's just not something that I normally would talk about but I've been using it so I was like I might as well kind of let you guys in because I'm sure I'm going to continue to use it because I love this stuff. So guys that is all of my conditioners and leave-ins. I hope you guys kind of like that. That was a lot. I hope you guys liked it. If you did give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below if any of these are your favorites as well. Now tomorrow we're going to be talking about deep conditioners so you, I know you guys love when I talk about deep conditioners because that's what's going to give you that good moisture. So yeah, make sure you come back tomorrow at 12 Eastern Standard Time to check out the deep conditioners that are my current favorites right now. So I will see you guys then. Um, have a good night. <laughs> Bye.